guys hope you're all well for today's video I will be doing this look here and I'm gonna be focusing on using more drugstore products and giving you sort of alternatives to more higher-end products so starting out with the L'Oreal Lumi Magique primer I'm just working that into the skin as a base for my foundation and this is a great alternative to the max strobe cream and for foundation today I've chosen the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 and I love this, I love the finish and it is really really long wearing if you have oilier skin like me. For concealer today I've chosen the Maybelline Age Rewind in the shade Light and I love this because of the coverage, it really covers the under eye dark circles and it doesn't crease which is amazing, super long wearing and it's really affordable. If you can't get your hands on the Maybelline concealer, I would recommend trying the Collection Cosmetics Lasting Perfection Concealer. It does a great job and still super affordable. a good idea to set your under eye concealer so it doesn't crease throughout the day and for this I love the e.l.f. HD under eye setting powder. Using the Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder to set my foundation. Now I wouldn't say this is super affordable, I paid about $39 for this but I think for how much product you get it's going to last you a lifetime so to me that's affordable. To warm up the skin I've chosen the Collection Bronze Glow Mosaic Bronzer and I just love this product, it's, it's super affordable. If you want to know where in New Zealand you can get Collection Cosmetics from, they have a stand in every single countdown in New Zealand and yeah it is a shimmery bronzer, I usually only like matte bronzers but this one just, it's not too overpowering, it's not too glittery, it just, I think it looks really flattering on the skin. The only affordable highlighter I had in my collection was this one from Topshop and sadly I have hit the bottom but uh, Topshop is meant to be coming to New Zealand sometime towards the end of the year so that's pretty exciting. <laughs> If you're in the market for a new blush, I seriously recommend trying out this Max Factor Cream Blush. I think it's in the shade Soft Pink, I will list it down below. But yeah, I just love the way it looks on the cheeks, it just, just makes me feel really healthy whenever I wear it. For brows today I'm using my Model Co Brow Kit, which you can purchase off modelcocosmetics.com. And I really love this stuff. I know my brows look absolutely terrible at the moment, but I am growing them out slash lost my tweezers. For eyeliner today, I have chosen the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. And I love this because normally I just always, always, always wear a nude eyeliner on the inner rim. But this one is a really awesome colour. It's like a golden light brown and it just defines the eye but without looking like you've got black eyeliner on which I just cannot pull off it just sort of makes my eyes look really small and weird so this is awesome. For eyes today I'm going to be using my NYX Love in Paris palette which I love I think the colours are really beautiful I'm starting out with this white shade on the inside tear duct of my eyes it's just going to brighten that area up a wee bit and then I'm just going to sweep this champagne kind of shimmery colour all over the lids. And next I just took this warm kind of brown shade through the crease just to define the eye and give a little bit of definition. And 
then to smoke out the look, I took this shimmery dark chocolate brown just on the very outer V shape of my eyelid. I look a little bit I took this NYX jumbo eye pencil in the shade pure gold and I just swept it all over the mobile eyelid and just blended it out with a flat shader brush feeling like a little bit of a cat eye flick today so I went with the scandalized liquid eyeliner pen by Rimmel I'm going to recommend a mascara, it's always this one, Maybelline the Falsies, it just does the job and it does it good. It doesn't make your eyelashes too clumpy, it makes them nice and fluttery and it's super affordable. For lips today I've chosen to go with this Rimmel one and it's actually a Kate Moss for Rimmel lipstick in the shade 16 and it's just a really nice corally pink kind of a shade, it's not really a shade I'd normally wear but I do like how this looks. So I really hope that this video is helpful to some of you guys, I really enjoyed making it and if you enjoyed watching it then please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video.